Now, I mean, he do what he does uh, to create his hype, and and you have to give him that. And what he does, I have to respect that. And it's not that I didn't see it; I see it, and that's why I take him serious. Um, the hype is for him, and the win is for me. I deserve my place in the UFC, and yeah, I'm gonna prove it on Saturday, and I- everybody will know again why I'm I'm in the top five. Jorginho, I looked at the odds, and they they got you as a a pretty heavy underdog that surprised me what do you think about that how does that make you feel Nah, it doesn't affect me any kind of way i feel comfortable i had a good camp i'm in shape i don't think this guy's gonna stop me i'm gonna stop him and something special is gonna happen that's how i see it you think you're gonna stop him you're gonna knock him out this is not gonna go to the judges scorecards i have to knock him out i have to stop him that's how it goes i mean I'm in shape. I have five rounds to do it. It can happen early in the fight. It can happen the latest in the fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in there. Let him make the mistakes, putting pressure everywhere, and we're gonna see where it goes and how it goes. What is this fight for? What, does this get you a title shot? Do you fight the? I know John Jones is there. Do you fight the winner of Stipe and Francis if you win this fight? What, what's on the line here? Now, for me, I think if uh, when I win this fight this Saturday. I will look for a quick turn around, fight one more time, and then I want to go for the title shot. How about Derek Lewis, Jorginho? That would seem to make sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. But we're going to see what the UFC comes with. Because even Derek Lewis is waiting for a title fight. So the line is long, and we're going to see who goes first and what, what comes on my path. That's an interesting fight, though. So. Are you uh, upset at all that John is going to get this title shot, uh, first fight in the division, and, and you've been putting in work, you've been winning fights for – for, for years, and he's, you could argue, jumping the line. Nah, I mean, uh, it doesn't bother me. John is one of the best. He faked his, his levy, a light heavyweight championship uh, belt, and then he come to the heavyweight. So for me, it's fine if he go before me. Uh, I, th- I catch him after that, or I catch the winner of that fight after John Jones. I mean, I'll be, I'll, I'll be right there winning fights, take my experience to win the title fights come. I am ready for it. And, of course, I want to win this fight. Of course. Just personally, do you want another crack at Francis? I know you, there was a lot of high hopes for that fight, and, uh, you know, obviously didn't go the way you wanted it to go. Is that something that personally you would like to right or wrong there with Francis Ngannou? No, of course. I mean, we have to run it back. The way it goes, everybody can get caught like that. And, yeah, we're going to see what the future brings. The future is bright. The FAA division is moving. Everybody's fighting. Some of them fought already. So the future is bright.